right, so we wanted to do a quick little video about a tax credit that is available right now. People might not have heard of it, so we wanted to go over it really quickly, and that is the Digital News Subscription Tax Credit. So Caitlin, what is this credit and how can people claim it? So the government's implemented this credit, which provides you a credit of up to $500 per year for subscribing to digital news. Uh, so there are some stipulations for this and basically you need to look at your receipt from wherever you're subscribing because if wherever you are subscribing is eligible for this credit they would be considered a qualified canadian journalism organization or the you know, cra loves their acronyms qcjo and so that should be listed on the bottom of of your receipt from wherever you're subscribing Eligible organizations would be ones that do not have a broadcasting license and also give all of their information, you know, predominantly online. So not in paper format, not on radio, uh, TV, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, so CRA is saying that there's supposed to be a list online. The organization that you subscribe to actually has to apply for this accreditation through CRA. And so most digital news places, they, they might not think about applying or they might not think that they're eligible since they offer news in multiple formats. You know, for example, you know, CBC provides news online, but then they have broadcasting. So something like that might not be eligible. Uh, similarly, you know, the London Free Press provides print newspapers. So again, something like that wouldn't be eligible. So it's really particular in who is eligible and you have to make sure that you see QCJO on the bottom of your subscription receipt. So you need to take a look there. And now if you are currently subscribed to a place that is a QCJO and then they no longer are a QCJO, they're required to tell you about that as well. So to summarize, basically, the CRA is saying you can get a credit for up to $500 for subscribing to a digital news outlet that is not a broadcast licensed outlet, does most of or all of their news online in an online format, and they are QCJO registered, which would show up on the bottom of your receipt. So if this is you, please make sure you keep your receipts and submit them for your taxes so that we can get you that tax credit.